Welcome back. It is 720 and we are here with Ron from Petland, Iowa City, learning how to do grooming at home for our cats and dogs. And we've got two energetic little <laughs> puppies here today. Before we get into that, what are we holding? All right, so we have a little miniature schnauzer. So there's the standard schnauzer. That's a large breed. This is a small breed, so it's a miniature schnauzer. And then a little West Highland Terrier. So Look now, at that ear. Isn't yeah. That? yeah. <laughs> and now, now, now this guy was climbing all around and he's super active this morning. You said that's kind of a trait of the... Of it's the, a terrier, so it's, it's going to yeah. have that little more energy. They're puppies right now, so yeah, both so of them are going to have that <laughs> from time to time. Uh, the terriers are going to have that going a little bit further, but yes, they will mellow out over time too. But uh -oh. Both uh -oh. Of, yeah, he, he's got your microphone. He's got something to say. Oh no! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that's not good. He's there the first go, one to it. actually take it off. <laughs> wow, That's good for you. Well, now it's going to want to go back for more. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> he said, I got you. You want me to hold him while you yeah, do that? Yeah, why don't you do why that? Why don't we get his mic back on? <laughs> so what do we need function. to know about grooming at home today? <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about brushes, and then we're going to talk about uh, shampoos and conditioners and perfumes and stuff like that. So everybody, you know, in the past yes. has looked at these kind of things. It's, yeah. it's an, like an old-fashioned, I think, uh, uh -huh. sh de-shedding product. So. Let's, they're good, they work okay. Then came these, it's the rubber version of it, kind of a thing, and so that uh, is able to bring the fur off and everything. Mm -hmm. It's okay, you know, kind of a thing. Then came, oh, we, you know, we were talking about industry on the last uh -huh. break, some yeah. wire bristles. That okay. looks like a hairbrush yeah. for a woman. Yeah, and it does work, <laughs> gets the tangles out really well and everything, plus it takes out a little bit. Now we get into what's called the slicker, oh. and this is the one where uh, there's a lot of little wiry things, and now they've even put a little push button That's on there smart. to eject it. This works pretty good for gathering loose hair. I like that. A little, yeah, pretty good on the uh, removing the shed and all that. Now we go to the ultimate. The Fulminator. <laughs> the Fulminator. And so <laughs> this is like if you have not got, if you have a shedding dog and you need something to remove the shed, you got to get this thing. It yeah. is unbelievably good, and you I know what it one. is. Yeah. Yes, I have one. I will say that having a slicker as well is, I think, important because it gathers all that loose fur that this one produces. And then for those people out there with dogs that are non-shedding, the slicker is also good for it because they do shed. Mm -hmm. uh, and this gathers that up for you. So those are the brushes. Those are a little critiques. Oh, I do like this brush right here. It's got a lot of little bristles and stuff like that to get the little stuff that's in there for uh -huh. Now, awesome. got to jump into the shampoos yes. and stuff. So uh, two of my favorite lines is BioGroom and Bobby Panter. Uh, both of them have wonderful shampoos. At BioGroom, have you heard of Argan Oil? Yes. Yes, uh -huh. they got it for dogs now. Oh my gosh. And so it is that, it's it just as incredible. And then all conditioners are not yeah. created equal, right? Right. Silky, this is really, really good. And Bobby Panter has her own line here, which is really, really good as far as getting them washed. I always say, wash your dog. If this is, hasn't been washed for a while, five times. Times, oh. and then come back with a conditioner. Wow. If this is just your normal, wash them twice and you'll notice a significant improvement in smells and all oh, that kind great. of stuff. Then you go into all the other things that you can do. Are you one that, hey, I don't want to put my dog uh, in a tub or in a sink? Then they've got the waterless. A little trick for you people though, if you really can't get your dog or cat into a sink, go into the shower with them. It is so much easier uh, to do it that way. And then some other perfumes. Here, the one that you're smelling today okay. is this little one. That's one of our favorite little uh, uh, perfumes that we have, oh, colognes and all that kind of a thing. So, so smart. Oh, that's really this cool. This is great. Thank you so much for filling <laughs> yeah. us in on it. If folks want to get in touch and want to stop by, where can they find you? We're Petland, Iowa City, located uh, across from the Sycamore Mall, now known as Marketplace Mall. You can check us out on the web, PetlandIowaCity.com. Uh, or give us a call, 351-9451. Thank you, Ron. I made a friend here. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. now sorry. Yeah. So sorry Aww. for that. I know. <laughs> didn't realize it was so critical. Oh, there's a three-minute emotional connection here. I'm gonna <laughs> it's 724 now on your Thursday morning. Coming up, we've got more news and weather for you to keep you informed on everything that's happening today. We'll be right back.